Hi there, my name's Errol Lawson. I want to thank you for taking the time to stop by and watch footage from our Amplify event. Our next speaker is Nikki Roscoe. She's the author of Fabulous Impact and an international professional speaker. Be inspired as you hear Nikki Roscoe. passion and you know what I'm uh, I'm very passionate about chocolate in fact when I arrived here today and I saw the Smarties outside I think they arranged those specially for me didn't they <laughs> they do didn't they oh, I love them I love them so how many of you here though are passionate about something you really want to do by show of hands how many of you are passionate about something you really want to do okay so keeping your hands up how many of you have actually done something about it? All right. So those of you that haven't done anything about it, and even those of you that have done something about it, how are you going to keep that passion going? What are you actually going to do to make it keep going? Because it's so important to have that self-belief and have that confidence. Because without that self-belief, without telling yourself, I can do this, I'm going to do this. I really believe in this, this is something I really want to do. Then how are you going to make it happen? Now, let's have a, let's see who we're gonna choose here to try on my earmuffs. Who would like to have a go here with my little exercise that I'm going to do, yes? Do you like to, would you like to come out to the front? <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> so the whole idea about this today, and what I'm talking about, and what Errol talked about, and what Daniel's going to be, be saying, is to help you feel good, so that you want to do even more that you're doing, to make that passion come alive even more, to really feel that confidence, not just from the inside, but to show it from the outside too, by putting that big smile on your face right now. And look at someone next to you and smile at them. <laughs> How good does that make you feel? <laughs> See, laughter is a wonderful thing, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this eye mask over you. From, you can keep your glasses on if you like, it's up to you. Okay, okay, you cool about this? Right, oops, hang on. There you go, so we're gonna put the eye mask on you. And then we're going to put the earmuffs. What do you think of these earmuffs? <laughs> I think they're so cool. <laughs> oh, what's your name? Caprice. Capri oh, wow, what a beautiful name, Caprice. Okay, that is beautiful. So, we're going to put the earmuffs on you. And I'm now going to ask you to walk to the back of the room. So, what's happened? How come you're not going there? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> because you don't know where you're going. Okay, can you hear me really well now I'm talking? Can you hear me as well as you would do if I didn't, you didn't have the earmuffs on? No. No? Okay, so what if I take the earmuffs off, the fluffy earmuffs, and here we go, we take the mask off you, okay? So now, if I ask you, Caprice, to walk to the back of the room and then come back again. Okay. So now she can do it, right? She can walk to the back of the room and come back again, Caprice. That is brilliant. So, can you tell me what the difference was by wearing the eye mask and the earmuffs made? Uh, when I wore the earmuffs and the Actually, one second. Let's 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 pop you on here so we can make sure you can hear. Okay. Um, when I wore the eye mask and the earmuffs, I didn't know where I was going, so I didn't want to walk because I might walk into something or someone. But when I didn't have them on, I could see, and but I didn't really have to hear where I was going because I could see. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Well done. Take a seat. Thank you very much. Thank you for participating in that. So anybody else like to tell me 
why else, wh you know, when, when she had the, the uh, eye mask on and the earmuffs, what else that stopped her doing? So she couldn't see where she was going. Pardon? She couldn't hear. What couldn't she hear? Okay, so me instructing her, telling her what to do. Anything else? Okay, so, oh, yeah. She couldn't see where she needed to go. So was she not focused because she couldn't see what, where she needed to go? Because if we're not focused, if we don't plan what we're going to do in our lives and where we're going to go, we don't plan it and prepare where we want, to, where our vision is, where we see ourselves going, how are we going to get there? And if we have our earmuffs on, fluffy or not, <laughs> how are we going to hear others telling us where to go, giving us advice, sharing their advice with us. How are we going to know where to go? What, what we're going to do? So it's so important that you plan and you prepare what you want to do and your vision in your life. Now, I always love going to the movies. How many of you love going to the movies? Love it, absolutely. And when I think of a character in a movie that I absolutely admire, because they make me feel like I really want to achieve something, really do something. Now, that could be Jane Bond. Uh, it could be anybody, any characters that you want that you really admire. You know, I've really admired Oprah Winfrey. I just think she is brilliant, amazing, so it's inspiring in her life. And in, there was a recent film that, she, that she's uh, been in, uh, The Butler, that she was in. Oh, wow, that film was just absolutely brilliant. But she has achieved what she wanted to achieve, and she had a really tough life. She was abused, she was raped, she, she just had a terrible time. And then she was in the film The Colour Purple, and she managed, she believed in, in, in what she wanted to do and get herself, get herself away and change her life. And that's what it's all about, believing in yourself, and having that passion to do what you want to do. So I really admire her, and I really admire what she has done and how she has achieved things in her life. So for me, that is one character that I always look to. And then I'll think of perhaps the film Pretty Woman, you know, with Julia Roberts, and she walks into the shop uh, off Rodea Drive, and they judge her. The, the shop assistant judges her and looks at her, like, who are you dressed like that? We don't want you basically get out and luckily she had someone like Richard Gere I mean who wouldn't want Richard Gere on their arm uh, to help her go <laughs> to go and get some fabulous clothes so she goes back to the shop and she walks in and she said and they, the assistant looks at her like you know can we help you madam you know whatever you want she says well are you on commission the woman sort of looks at her and she says a big mistake huge and she walks out looking absolutely fabulous with her hat on a big smile like you just had before and uh, all her bags feeling really confident with that self-belief because she really felt it she felt good at that moment so Oprah Winfrey and uh, Julia Roberts for me wow you know I, I always think of those two examples and I love Whoopi Goldberg too but I could go on forever really so what I want all of you to do you've got no you've got a notebook and some paper where you're sitting I'd like you to spend a couple of minutes thinking about a character that really inspired you and what they help you to think about when you really want to achieve what you want to achieve so just write down three things of that character. Now, if there isn't a character in a film, then perhaps there's a person that you really do admire and that really inspires you to want to achieve and motivate you to do what you want to do. Come on, some of you have got some characters out there. Okay, yeah. Bob Marley. Bob Marley, okay. Wow, I like that. <laughs> um. I like Bob Marley. Um, he's a spiritual guy. He's a spiritual guy. Spiritual guy. I like yep. that connection. Come in, come out here. Our cameraman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's you, can, you can come and join me out on stage. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, because this is all about achieving and doing what you want to do in your life. This is it. This is your moment. No, um, he's, a, he's, a creative, he's a creative guy. Yeah. Artistic, creative. Yep. Um, he's lyrical. He's yeah. inspirational. Uh, he's positive. And um, he's got um, a, like a positive message. Positive message. Yeah, there you go. So that really inspires yeah. you to do what you want to do. Yeah, You're yeah. brilliant. Oh, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. So who else is going to brave it? Because it's all about also not just having the confidence, but having the courage to do what you want to do. Oh, look. There you go. Oh, she's so fabulous. Okay, Capri. Yeah, the mic is for the camera. It might not help you speak louder, so you need to speak really loudly and show us your um, courage. <laughs> I'll pick Oscar from Shark Tale. So, do you mind standing up, actually, then we can, we can all hear, if that's okay with you? She's so cute. Um, I pick Oscar from Shark Tales? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Because um, he does what he wants the way he wants to, and yeah. he shows that he's different, and he shows that everyone can be different in their own way. That's fantastic. And how does that make you want to achieve what you want to achieve in your life? Um, because it shows me that even if I'm different to everyone else, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. So that because you're unique, that's a really good thing and that can help you move forward in your life to make it happen, yeah? That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay. So, and uh, I haven't heard anything from this side of the room. Ah, good one. So can we, <laughs> I'm coming round, I'm coming to the back. Okay, so who's, who's going to go first? So, so listen to this everybody, because this can help inspire you too, because it's all about what helps you to achieve the things you really want to achieve in your life. Um, my character is um, Zipporah from the Prince of Egypt, which is also mm. my name. Oh. Um, and the reason why I've chosen her is because she's independent, so she's a very strong woman in the Bible. Um, she's submissive, so when Moses came to her rescue her, she wasn't really fighting it. She really was trying to be submissive, even though she didn't want to. She's brave because she had to sacrifice her own son, and she's very resilient. She went through a lot of things by herself, for herself, and she kind of persevered through it. So Brilliant. that's it. Wow. So that, that really inspires you to do what yeah, you want to do in your life. My name so it reminds me every day that who I want to be and the qualities I want to persist in my life. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Okay. Hi. What's your name? My name's Alston. Alston, everybody, give it up for Alston! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, Spider-Man did come to mind, um, and the first line, which you many of you will be familiar with, is um, with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah. Um, a cliche, but very real, and it's understanding what your responsibility is and going for it all the time. Yeah. So, so you just you're going for it all the I time. So. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's, that's Okay, because it's all about keeping going, never giving up. Always keep going, whatever happens, because you will get there in the end. You need to see where you want to go. You need to have that vision without the blindfold on. You need to hear other people directing you and have your self-talk from the inside out, yeah? Telling yourself what you can do, what you can achieve. So, hi. hi. I'm Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hi. Um, I picked Jamal Edwards. Okay. Because I think he's very determined, so he has a lot of determination to do what he wanted when he was younger. Mm -hmm. He's still humble, despite just getting £8 million this year. He's still yeah. very humble in what he's doing. Yeah. And I've put opportunist, because he's always finding opportunities to help other people and to go back into schools and help children of a young age to try and be like he is. Wow. Is, th is that what you want to do? I think so, yeah. You want Definitely to help? The yeah, I would love to help other people and determination. I don't ever want to give up. I so what, what are you doing about it right now? I don't know. If you did know, what are you doing about it to make that difference and make it happen right now? Just never giving up. Just never giving up. up. Okay, we'll give it up for you too. <laughs> Woo! Okay, one more person. One more person. Where are we? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Hi. What's your name? Melissa. Melissa. Oh, you're Melissa. Hello. Hi, yeah. Hello. Um, <laughs> I racked my brain to think yeah. of somebody like a celebrity or somebody that we'd all know. And 
I actually began to focus on my circle and who's in my circle because I know them personally. Mm -hmm. And one lady who really, really inspires me is Leonie Martin. She's sitting at the front. Oh, Leonie! Give it for for Leonie! Okay. That's because of her tenacity, her determination. And one thing that marries with one of my my values is purpose. And she operates in her purpose. And that really inspires me. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you you very much. Thank you. Because... Having a purpose and a passion is going to help you to achieve. It's going to help you to make it happen. And having that courage to take that leap of faith, wherever you're at, in whatever situation. You know, I, I was climbing in the Virunga Mountains in Rwanda because my passion was to go and sit. I wanted to go and visit the gorillas. I really wanted to do it. And previously... I discovered I had a brain tumour. And I was told that I may not survive. And when I was sitting in the neurosurgeon's office, he said to me, Nikki, you have a brain tumour and it's deeply embedded in your brain. And it's the size of a golf ball. And the first thing I said to him was, oh my God, I don't even play golf. (laughs) <laughs> and, uh, and, and I took a trial and then I thought, well, will I survive? What's going to happen to me? And he said, if you don't have the operation within two years, you'll become like a vegetable and you'll be dead within five. I chose life. I chose to have the operation and I chose to learn to play golf. <laughs> Saying that, I'm not the best golfer ever, but I have a go every now and then. But I remembered the film Shawshank Redemption. And there was that scene with Andy and Red in the the prison. And, and, you know, it was awful. They were having a terrible time in the prison. And and they were talking about, well, Andy was talking about Zewataneo and and having a boat and being on the beach and with the sea and 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 red looked to him who was morgan freeman because it was morgan freeman and tim robbins that were playing this and he was like well this is a dream and andy turned around to him and he said you have two choices you either get busy living or get busy dying well i chose to get busy living so i'm standing here with you all now and what are you doing Do you choose to get busy living every single day of your lives? Because when you do, and if you are right now, that's when you're going to make it happen. Now, I have a client. I had a client uh, who, he was in property. And he was in property for many years. And he had this passion that he wanted to go and live in Spain. Okay, Spain is a great place for him to go. But he wanted to have a sailing boat. And he wanted to take corporates out on a sailing boat, but he also wanted to help charities, and he also wanted to take holiday makers out on this sailing boat too. How was he going to achieve it? This was just a dream. But we worked through it together. He planned it, and then we prepared, he prepared for what he wanted to do, and he started to put things in practice when he went over to Spain. And I know Daniel is going to be sharing some things with you after the break to actually tell you how to make things actually happen so it's it's having that passion wanting it to happen believing in it having that self-belief in yourself whatever no matter who else gets in your way because let's face it there are plenty of mood hoovers around aren't there people that want to sabotage things for you probably because of their own insecurities right but listen to yourself listen to you Listen to what you want to do, what you want to achieve, and how you want to achieve it. Because my client is now living in Spain, and I have to say he invited me over, and I've done quite a few motivational talks on his boat, <laughs> on his, on his uh, sailing boat. But I'm not a boat sort of person, so they have to stay moored. <laughs> we couldn't go out on it. So I actually did the motivational, t- motivational talks on it. And then when I finished, I sent them all off. Bye! Have a lovely time. (laughs) But he made it happen. And now, years later, he's got a captain over there. And the captain 
uh, takes over for him while he comes back certain times and visits family and spends weeks here and then he goes back when he wants to because he made his dream come alive. And it's really important to make your dream come alive. And I, I sponsor um, and, and support the Grace Children's Village in Rwanda. And I sponsor a little girl called Grace and I'm, I'm very excited. In fact, we, we were talking about, we, John and I were talking about that earlier. And I'm very excited to go there and visit them and help them because when I was in Rwanda, um, I, I just loved climbing in those mountains to see the gorillas, but I spent a lot of time with the children there in the village and also time with some of the children in Uganda as well when I, when I went to visit the chimpanzee um, sanctuary. And then we went, we went to orphanages and just had the most amazing time because they all, as you're going to do again right now, put big smiles on their faces because they have passions to live. They don't know, they don't know about Primark or Primani, as some people say. They don't, they don't know about any of those things. They just live their life and they make their lives happen. Yeah, and that's what you need to do. Really believe and make something happen that you really, really, really want to do for you. Okay, so just think about that for one moment. Just think about what you really want to do. Anybody else like to share with us what they're doing to make it happen? Come on. Don't be shy. <laughs> Don't be shy. We're a family here tonight. <laughs> Who else is right in the middle of they have their idea and they're actually making it happen right now? Because I just want you to think about the bucket list. Now I remember seeing that film as well, The Bucket List. And that was Morgan Freeman again. I quite like Morgan Freeman, I have to say, and Jack and Jack Nicholson. And they, they were in the hospital and they found out they were terminally ill. So one of them made a bucket list. It was Morgan Freeman that made a bucket list and Jack Nicholson found it. And on this list, which Jack Nicholson added to, were things that they'd always wanted to achieve in their life and they'd never achieved them. And they had about a year to live. So my thing is, why wait till the end of your life, till you're 80, 90, whatever it is, to achieve the things you really want to achieve. And if you're thinking about something now, you've got something that's starting to grow like a flower. Keep watering it. Don't stop. Do it now. Don't keep saying, oh, I'll put it off to next week or I'll put it off to the week after. Because the more you put it off, the more it's not going to happen. You need to make it happen now. Right now. So have that courage, because I know when I, when I got to the top of that mountain, it took six hours to get there. But the great thing was I practiced it. Well, I planned it first because I went to the gym, actually, <laughs> and I trained because, boy, was it a steep mountain and, God, it was hot and everything and uh, it was misty. But I got there. I got to the top eventually. And some of the team, people that were coming up as well with us, I looked behind and they were... <gasps> I thought, oh, thank goodness, I've been to the gym. What a relief. So it's like all of you, you know, if you plan for what you're going to do and where you're going to go, then wow, you're going to make it. Really believe it. Really believe it. Because you can do it. Anything is possible. It really, really is. I know it. Because I made that decision to get busy living. I'm standing here right now, and I have got three plates and six screws in my head, one of which is loose as if you didn't realise that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, I've got pain in my head, yeah. and I, the screws, yeah, it, 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 that loose screw, I'll tell you, it gets you every time. But it, it really is there. I, 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 I live with this pain in my head every single day of my life, and I've got swelling in my head, even right now when I'm talking to you. And when I'm in a room with lots of noise, or well, there's an electric guitar that wouldn't suit you, would it? Because you like your music. <laughs> it wouldn't go down very well. You know, I find that really challenging. But over the years, because it was 2001 when I found out I had, had the brain tumour, over the years, I have taken control. I've taken control of the pain. And I've said to the pain, I'm in control of you. You are not in control of me. I'm in control of you, you're not in control of me. 
So when that little voice in your head says, oh, I'm exhausted, I can't do it, it's just not going to happen, and you want to give up, just keep going. Now, what I'd like you to do is I would like you all to focus on this candle. No, Daniel, we're not going to turn the lights out and have romantic music, or anyone else that thought we were. I would like you <laughs> to all focus on this candle and focus hard. Focus very hard. And focus on this candle coming alight. See the flames, the orange, the yellow, all the different colours. Right now, feel the heat from the candle and hear the noise of the flicker of the flame as you would do when you hear a fire burning. See it, light, feel it, hear it. You can make it happen, you can do it. So why isn't it happening? What's happening? Come on! Do you know why? Because you need to take action. Yeah, where's those big smiles? Where's that clapping yourself to take action right now? Huge clap, please, for yourself. Take that action, make it even bigger and say yes, like Errol told you earlier, yes. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you again. And again. But what if that candle goes out? And what do you say to yourself? Yes. Yes. What do you say to yourself? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. And the more you keep lighting that candle, the more it goes out, you keep going and you make it bigger and brighter and bolder and you make your dreams become even more visual and then you get another one and you make that even bigger. I'm not going to light them all because we'll set the fire alarm off. <laughs> But, but that is what you need to keep doing and always keep going. How fabulous is that? Because my thing is, as I say over there, get up, get out and get going because it's your choice to choose to make that positive action. Now, I'm only blowing this out because of the fire alarm. But this, according to you all, is still a light, right? <laughs> Okay, now, I've also got one of these for you all, and Leonie's just going to hand them round to you, to take home with you, because I want you to all remember to keep lighting your candle, and get some bigger candles at home, and light them, remember it, and we're going to hand a sheet out to you as well, and it's going to have all the tips for you on there from me, especially to you. And what I want to finally leave you with is talking about your impact. The impact, the fabulous impact you can make in your lives. And I is for having that inspiration, having that focus and knowing where you're going without the blindfold, right? And without those earmuffs listening to others. M, to motivate yourself. Remember that self-talk saying, I can do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make it happen. P, knowing your passion, knowing your purpose, having that passion, planning, preparing and practicing what you're going to do. A, make sure you achieve your dreams, everybody. C, have the confidence and the courage to do it. You know, when I got to the top of that mountain, what happened? I looked around for the gorillas and I said to the guide, where are the gorillas? And he said, they've gone all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> so you know what? 
I said, right, everyone, let's go. And we picked ourselves up, dusted ourselves off, and started all over again, just like the song and Fred Astaire from Swing Time. Not that anyone's like Fred Astaire in here, but you know how it goes. <laughs> so have that confidence to do it. Yeah, have the courage to get out there and take that leap of faith. And finally, take action and light your candle. Because without lighting your candle, well, you're not going to make it happen. So make sure you do make it happen because it's your choice to choose for positive action to get up, get out and get going. And I want to hear from all of you because I think on, on there I've actually put down on the, uh, you've got my email on there, yeah, and my Twitter. I'd love all of you to let me know. And if uh, who here has a mobile phone with them today? Okay. Are you all on Twitter? Okay. Uh, how many of you are committed on a scale of one to ten, one being the lowest, ten being the highest, to send me a tweet? Is there, have we got service here? Okay. Okay to get on the Wi-Fi or otherwise to do it afterwards and to send me a tweet that you are going to make it happen and make that impact to achieve what you want to achieve in your lives. How many of you are committed to doing that to me today? Okay, brilliant. I look, and I will tweet you back. I will tweet you back later when I get that. 100%. Okay? So remember, keep going and light your candles. Thank you. In fact, give yourselves a huge clap, even bigger, bigger. Stand up, stand up right now. Stand up. Turn to the person and tell them next to you, I'm going to make it happen. Big smile. And a big clap and say, yes, yes, yes. Arms in the air. Woo! Well done.